November 14th, I got my first law school decision. And we can arrive the book and share that feel of love. I wanna ride Hi everyone, my name is Alexandria. If you're new here, welcome to my legal library. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in to yet another video. Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out what law school I am going to, as I will show you all of my true, authentic, raw reactions to the decisions I received this cycle. And before we move on, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hello YouTube. I am currently on an airplane right now with my mom and my friend and I just got into FIU law school. I just freaked out because I'm crying and I'm literally on the airplane. Like, I am freaking out. Do you see the tears in my eyes? Like, November 14th, I got my first law school decision. Good morning, YouTube. I got my second admissions decision i actually found out yesterday november 17th it is now november 18th and i got accepted into niu law i don't know my scholarship offer right now but they told me that they're gonna send something in the mail for me so hopefully i get that sometime soon but funny funny story is i went to like a dinner reception for the law school last night and they told me i was accepted at the reception and my mouth literally dropped i was like are you serious? And they were like, yeah, um, we accepted you last week. And so I checked my email while I was there and it was true. I got accepted last week, but it went to my spam. Like, I don't even know why it went to my spam. So with that being said, word of advice, ensure that all the schools that you are applying to, you do not like, you like, make them a contact so it doesn't go to your spam that is something i've learned because you'll be accepted into schools or have offers or rejections whatever it is and you don't even know it so check the spam good morning y'all i'm currently at work so i'm like freaking out because i just got an admissions decision so i want to record it this one is from american university um american university of washington college of law it says congratulations you have been admitted into the fall 2023 full-time juris doctorate program at america i just have to say y'all um i'm about to look up americans comedians and just be transparent okay so their medians i only meet one of their medians which is my gpa their median LSAT is a 162 a 162 i am 12 points beneath that and i have a 3.7 gpa so shoot your shot i'm telling you good morning everyone it's december 4th i'm doing my hair i just took out my braids and i'm cleaning my room and stuff um and it's final season approaching so i haven't really been um able to be productive in other ways besides school so i was doing that today but while i was cleaning i get this email that pops up on my email from chicago kent law okay it says admitted student opportunities admitted student visit opportunities and i'm like hold on admitted student visit opportunities something's not right i haven't received my letter of admission so it says, Dear Alexandria, congratulations on your admission to Chicago Kent College of Law. Oh, I got it yesterday. <laughs> Y'all, I got a big scholarship offer. I'm so happy. I'm like so happy. Hey y'all, it is Friday, December 9th. I'm currently in my friend Destiny's room. She don't even know I'm in here. She is out right now, but I had to go into a different room so that I could do my video. And also if you're watching this D-Ray, thank you for letting me use her room, even though you don't know that I'm in here. But I just got into UIC Law. I guess I gotta find my login to see what my scholarship offer is. Also, on December 9th, I got into Miami Law. Today is a great day. Fantastic day. Like, two offers of admission in one day. Like, 
I know it's not unheard of, but so far this cycle, it's been unheard of for me. So I'll take two yeses in one day. So I'm very proud. Hello, good morning, YouTube. It's December 15th. Um, It's currently finals week and I look like this because of that stress. But I got into another law school actually yesterday and I couldn't make the video yesterday because like I said, it's finals week, so it's stressful. Um, But I got into DePaul Law and I got into it on December 14th. Good morning, y'all. I'm at work currently, so I just got an email from Penn Dickinson Law. I'm a little bit nervous because I'm looking at the title of it. And it's looking like a rejection. So I'm just going to read it. Dear Alexandria, thank you. Thank you for your application to Penn State Dickinson Law. I'd like to commend you for putting together a terrific file. After careful review of your application materials, our admissions committee would like to offer you a spot on our wait list. Wait list. We love that. Also, today, December 21st, well, actually, a couple of days ago, I got accepted into Howard Law. That is an amazing school. I'm so excited. Good morning, everybody. It's February 1st, so happy Black History Month. Um, I haven't been making my reaction videos because I've been busy with school and work, but I just got into two more schools. So those two schools that I got into is Drake Law. So that is in Des Moines, Iowa. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then the second school I got into, which was a complete shock, but a great one for this cycle was the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And I'm just like so in awe considering that it is a top 30 school, but I was not expecting that whatsoever. Totally a reach school, totally a reach school, but this is why you shoot your shot. So yeah, have a happy day and, cause I know I will. <laughs> And today, March 3rd, I was waitlisted at Vanderbilt, which is also another complete shock because honestly, um, it was a REACH school. So a waitlist is good from a REACH school. So I will keep you all updated. And we only have one more school left. So Northwestern, where are you at? Let me know my decision, please. It's March. <laughs> So now that you all have seen all of my decisions and my reactions to those decisions, I think now it's time for me to tell you all what my stats were for this cycle. And might be very shocking compared to the decisions I received, but I just want to say that my resume as well as my personal statement was a very big impact, I believe, regarding these decisions as well as applying early. So to start off, according to LSAC, I have a 3.77 GPA and I scored a 150 on the LSAT. 150 is like the average score for the LSAT in my opinion as I've seen through data. However, I was scoring higher on my practice tests and I was going to take the September test because I took the August test but for me personally it wasn't something that I believed was the right thing for me to do because one, the LSAT is terrible and whoever made the LSAT and says that this is what is going to make you successful in law school i don't think that it is a true depiction of how successful you can be the lsat can help you see how someone thinks very logically but at the end of the day a test is a test and it doesn't prove whether or not you're going to be a successful law student or a successful attorney so remember that if you're going through any cycle after this cycle or if you went through this cycle the lsat is not a determining factor for anybody. As you can tell, I got into schools where I didn't even reach their medians for my LSAT score. And so I was what they call a splitter because I had a higher GPA and a lower LSAT score for a lot of the schools I applied to. So don't even be afraid to apply to schools that aren't within your medians because if you have one heck of a resume and letters of recommendation, as well as a great personal statement, you can be admitted just like I was. 
So moving on, I did apply to 14 schools this cycle and I've heard back from each school except for one school, which is Northwestern. It is currently April 13th and I still haven't heard back from them and seat deposit deadlines are fastly approaching. So the likelihood of me hearing back from them before seat deposit deadlines happen or come up for the other schools, I doubt it. So Northwestern, I guess, is just out of this race as of right now. It would have been a dream to go to Northwestern, but you know, who knows what they have in store for me until they give me a decision. I'm so grateful to say that I was accepted into 11 schools and waitlisted at two and still waiting on another decision, of course. And I know that with the previous cycles, I was very nervous and very scared, but I just wanna, another word of advice is don't be scared. Just shoot your shot with the school because you never know what could happen. But now you all, it is time for my law school review. I've been waiting on this since I was in second grade. So it is time to let you all know what law school I will be going to as a first generation law student. I'm breaking down doors and barriers for my family. So I'm more than happy to be sharing this journey along with you all. So are you ready? If you're ready, put it down in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you're liking it so far. But here we go. Time for the law school reveal. So I will be going to Illinois Law. Yay. So I chose the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. If you saw my other video, I will link it in the cards right above for you to watch it and see me talk about all the great things that this school had to offer. I fell in love with the campus as soon as I arrived. And being that I live in Illinois currently, I go to school in Illinois, I grew up in Illinois. It just made sense for me to stay in Illinois considering Illinois is where I wanna work after I graduate. And that's one of the main factors that you need to factor in when you are applying to schools or looking for schools to go to, considering the market that you wanna work in after you finish school. So I'm very happy with my decision. I start school this fall. I believe orientation is in August and I just cannot wait to see what this next chapter lies ahead for me. But if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop them below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also follow me on my socials. I'll add them right here. I'm very active on my socials and I will be happy to answer any questions in my DMs if you have any, if you have personal questions. But that's the video. I hope you all enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you. There's been tears, smiles, screams, highs, lows, you name it throughout this cycle. And I will be posting all throughout the summer and I hope that you all stay tuned even as I journey to law school in the fall. But that's the video. Bye you all.